Okay, good evening, folks. It's your bro, <coughs> uh, Richie Richard. Today in this video, um, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. Um, so today in this video is gonna be um, it's gonna be a cool one. Um, <coughs> so I um, when done doing Need for Speed, when done doing Need for Speed and Fast and Furious. So now it's time to you know go back to the old roots right now to like. Like to what I always do, like my cars and what now, what I still do, <coughs> and just you know, do something different. So today I'll be talking to you about a sponsorship, which this one is pretty cool. <coughs> so for all of you blue collar fans and blue collar ancestors who are watching this video, you guys are gonna like this one because you all are gonna be surprised. <coughs> For those who are watching this and, and are not blue collar ancestors, but still respect that, I am. Uh, I don't mind. You guys can watch this too. If not, it's, it's totally up to you. I, I, I'm not going to force someone. I, it's totally up to you. If you want, cool. If you don't, no worries. You can watch on your own time. Go whenever you want. Alright. <clears throat> anyway, so today in this video, I'll be talking to y'all about Ford performance so this like i said this is a good one <coughs> and then there's a bunch of stuff on there we got history cars factory drivers rims performance teams and blah blah blah, blah. there's not really much on there but oh well it's decent enough Okay, so, um, <coughs> before, I, before I start, make sure you all, um, uh, like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell, and hit all so you'll be ready when I bring up those. <coughs> so, <coughs> so, there we go. So, before I start, make sure you all like the video, subscribe. So, like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, and I hit Hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted of when I make brand new uploads. Alright, <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's begin. So, <clears throat> Ford Performance. Here we go. Buckle your seatbelts, put the car into first gear, or manual or automatic, it's totally up to you. <clears throat> Crank up the NOS, activate it, and let's get the show on the road. So, Ford Performance. So, Ford Performance. Here we go. <clears throat> so, Ford Performance. Uh, so, Ford, per Ford Performance, uh, formerly known as uh, Ford Racing. So, Ford Racing. Is the high performance division so high high performance division <coughs> high perform high performance division of the Ford Motor Company uh, and the multinational name uh, used for both its motorsport and ra motorsport so motorsport and racing activity <coughs> sorry motorsport and racing activity <coughs> uh, company type is um, division so division. Uh, industries, um, autom industries, automotive, and motorsport. Uh, the uh, predecessor is um, there's quite a lot of them anyway. Um, we got Ford Racing, uh, Ford, uh, Ford Team. So we got Ford Racing, Ford Team RS, um, SVT, which is a uh, special uh, uh, vehicle teams. So special vehicle teams. Which they do like the SVT Raptor and so on and so forth. <coughs> um, FPV, Ford, Perf Ford Performance Vehicles. And then we got <coughs> F FPR. It's like saying CPR, but taking out the C and putting the F into it. So FPR, which is um, 
Ford Performance uh, Racing in uh, Australia. <coughs> I say Australia. Uh, it's founded in uh, Grass Point, uh, Michigan, in the U.S. on 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 October October tenth. So oct October tenth, uh, nineteen oh one. So in 1901, uh, which uh, was around, do the math in there, 100 and, 123 years ago, somewhere in there. So 1901 to 2024, so uh, I'm going to do the math. No, we're not 123 years ago. <coughs> so yeah, October, October 10th. So October tenth, um, nineteen oh one. So October tenth, nineteen oh one. Yeah, October tenth, nineteen October tenth, nineteen oh one. Um, which was one hundred twenty one hundred twenty three years ago. <coughs> Founder was Henry Ford. So Henry Henry Ford, born July thirtieth, July thirtieth, eighteen sixty three. Died if died um, April seventh, uh, nineteen forty seven. <clears throat> so it was two years after the Second World War, which they won against Japan. <clears throat> like Japan was humiliated. So the founder was Henry Ford. Rest in peace. Salute. Show respect. May rest in peace. So may rest in peace. So founder was Henry. Founder, founder was Henry. Henry Ford. Uh, headquarters is in uh, um, uh, the city of the city of Dearborn. So Dearborn, in Wayne County, uh, Michigan. In the U.S., uh, products they do is for. Um, is uh, performance cars, supercars, uh, both performance and racing parts. So performance parts and racing parts. <coughs> so parents is a Ford Motor Company or FMC, and the website is um is performance. dot ford. dot com. So um. So I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. All the history about this. They do um they have motors they do motorsports, so motorsports, enthusiasts, parts, uh collector vehicles, uh performance vehicles, uh heritage and then the actual Ford website and the merchandise as well. So you can check it all out and all the information about every single bit of it and they even have Ford's tech line. So, so you can ask uh, the Ford Performance Tech Line. So, um, so you contact them for like performance parts. So uh, related question. So related uh, questions to performance parts, and they got they do also Ford Performance uh, Club Connect, uh, which you can join the club. <coughs> so to connect with connect with Ford Performance. Uh, for each week to power up your experience to ownership. In other words, to power up your ownership experience. And then they have a weekend preview. So like a weekend race preview. Uh, so you can find out how you can watch the Ford performance. It's like a Ford performance event. So you can watch like the live uh, event on the racetrack for each week. And they got a lot more other stuff. Like a lot more events, competitions, blah blah blah. You name it, they'll have it at that, at those type of events, and um, they'll be having new events this year. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, they had previous events uh, for this year, like a couple weeks back. Um, they had uh, the earliest was uh, around the the first event in order. They had August fifteenth uh, for a Mustang Cup, the new entry level. One make series for for a spring racers. <coughs> then for August eighteenth, they had Tasmanian Triumph for the Ford Mustang. Then uh, what else? Let's 
same year they had the same month and day, August 18th, they had the Bronco Bronco DR, which won the class 800. The Bronco Raptor takes stock midsize, and the Bailey Cole uh, secures the four six the 4600 stock stock class. Then Harrison Burton gives uh, the Wood Brothers 100th victory and clinches playoff first on August 25th. And September 1st, the Ford purchased the six the six fin Mustang. In NASCAR playoffs, most of any manufacturer that they had. And then on the 4th, which shows like what you need to know about Atlanta. And uh, Georgia, when they had the NASCAR Cup Series there. And with them, also we will have the NASCAR Xfinity Series in action. They have so many events coming up this year, so for in this month on September, on the 7th. They have NASCAR Xfinity Series 3 p.m. Uh, the same time, but on September 8th, the next day, they have the NASCAR Cup Series. So on Saturday and Sunday, they have those events coming up. So that's pretty good. And so many others that we have. So I'll uh, put the link in the description below. So the website that goes is performance.ford.com. So you can check out more info about it. So, put, uh, so I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, and next up is history. But before I do, I, I, I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Sorry, uh, sorry it took me two, three minutes, but uh, like five or six. So I apologize if I spoke too soon, but but hey, I'm back. So uh, let's continue. So let's continue on the next part. So <clears throat> next up, we got is history. So this is from the years 1896 up until this year, 2024. So that is that is around a hundred and. 128 years ago, almost 130. Well, for was it that that would be like uh, 2026? So first 2025, and then 2026, and then 2027, 8, 9, and then 2030. So that's the proper future time zone, I would say. <clears throat> All right, so we're on history. So first off, we got is we got this 
1896. So in 1896, uh, the year, so we got Henry Ford, uh, Henry Ford himself uh, reached the top, Henry Ford himself reached the top speed of 20 miles an hour in his first car, which was a quadricycle. <coughs> that quadricycle it was. So it developed, so it's known as the Ford Quadricycle, which was the first vehicle developed by Henry, which was the first vehicle so first car developed by Henry Ford himself. So by Henry Ford himself. So yeah, by Henry Ford himself. Uh, Ford's first car was a simple frame with a gas-powered engine mounted onto four bicycle wheels. <coughs> so yeah, that was all from 1896. Never moved down to the early 1900s. So in 1901, um, <coughs> so Henry Ford. Henry Ford uh, defeated, so Henry Ford defeated, defeated um, Alexander Winton, so it was a, it was a Scottish uh, American bicycle automobile and uh, diesel engine, diesel engine designer and inventor, as well as a businessman and a race car driver, born June, June 20th. Um, so born June twentieth, June twentieth, uh, eighteen sixty. So eighteen sixty. So that was. So eighteen sixty. Eighteen sixty. Sounds like twenty five years before the car was first invented, back in eighteen eighty five. So born June twentieth, eighteen sixty, in. Grangemouth, uh, in, in, from Grangemouth, uh, in Scotland, uh, died, so passed away, uh, June 21st, so June, June 21st, June 21st, 1932, that was, I think, after, like, the first World War, I think, uh, I don't know, it was before that, I think. It was way before the second world war even started. I'm not really sure when it started. I think it was 1938, 39, something like that. I don't know. And then it ended in 1945, which we won pretty much. Which is that. So yeah, um, so the second world war ended in 1945, around April 30th, because that was the year the Russians uh, won against the Germans in April 30th, uh, 1945. <coughs> So Alex Winton, born June twentieth, born so Alexander or Alex uh, Winton, born June twentieth, June twentieth, eighteen sixty, died June twenty first, nineteen thirty two, age seventy two, so seventy two. <clears throat> so nineteen oh one, um. Henry Ford defeated, so Henry Ford defeated uh, Alexander Winton, uh, the most accomplished automobile uh, builder slash racer of the, uh, <coughs> so builder slash racer of the era, so race racer of the era, so of the era, in a t in a ten lap, so a ten lap race on a one mile oval at the at the Detroit Driving Club. <clears throat> driving club track at Glass Point, so Glass Point in Michigan. He overcame his rivals, his rivals, uh, more powerful car, so more powerful car, so more powerful car, so they, so they overcame his rivals, so he overcame his rivals, and his rivals is more powerful car in sweepstakes, a race car of his own design. Next up, 1902. <coughs> Ford 999 or Ford 999. Kind of almost like the number for fire department something or something. I don't know. Named after a famous New York uh, Central uh, train. It's a New York Central train uh, driven by uh, Barney Oldfield, <coughs> who was a pioneer American, American race, 
uh, race car driver. His name was uh, <coughs> synonymous with synonymous with speed in the first two decades of the 20th century. He was the winner, so he was the winner of the inaugural AAA or AAA national championship in the year 1905. <coughs> Born January 29th, so January 29th. <coughs> so wait, January January 29th. So 29th, um, so late January, so late January, um, 1870, 1878, I'm sorry, 1876, so 1878, near Wazion, uh, in Ohio, in Ohio, died October, so died October 4th, October 4th, so early October 1946, so it's a year after the Second World War ended, age 68, so 60, 68, So 68 in Beverly Hills, California. In Beverly Hills, California. So California. So Beverly Hills, California. Passed, passed away from a heart attack. And he was buried in the, at the Holy, at the Holy Cross Cemetery in uh, Culver City, California. This is in Los Angeles County, uh, actual uh, California. <coughs> As of the 2020 census, so it was four years ago. The population is about 40,779 people, so over 40,000 people, so roughly, I would say it's a bit more, I'd say 45,000, I guess, in uh, 2024, maybe 42,500, I'm not too sure, I guess, in 2020, in 2024, I'm not quite 100% sure, but who knows, <coughs> so, so we got 19, 1902, uh, four. Almost a Ferrari for a second. Why? So, guy, 1902, uh, Ford Triple Nine or 999, named named after a famous New York Central train, driven by uh, Barney Oldfield, master driver of the world. So, master driver of the world and America's leg, America, America's legendary Speed King. So, Speed King defeated Alex Linton. At Glass Point, in the Triple Nine, <coughs> as a result of both the publicity, so both the public publicity, so publicity and financial uh, back, so publicity and financial backing of Alex J. Uh, Malcolmson, uh, the FMC, so Ford Motor Company, so Ford Motor Motor Company, Ford Motor Company was launched. Next up, 1903. <coughs> it's a Ford. So it then also, um, so the triple nine, it also lapped, so it was still driven by the same driver, Barney Oldfield, it lapped the Indiana Fair, Indiana Fairgrounds, uh, dirt track, so it lapped the Indiana Fairgrounds, so Indiana Fairgrounds, uh, dirt track at, at a then record of 60 miles an hour, then, um, so it was in 1903, and in 1904, so in 1904, <coughs> uh, Henry Ford himself, so Henry Ford, uh, driving his rebuilt version of the Triple Nine, so 999, uh, sets the world a one mile record on a frozen frozen lake, lake near the lake near Detroit. So near, near, near Detroit, <coughs> and at the same year, so same year, so same year, Frank Culloch, so Frank Culloch, spelled, spelled, 
K U L I C K. So Frank Kulik drove a 20 horsepower, so 20 horsepower Ford Racer to the one and five, so to the one mile and five mile uh, world, so to the one and five mile world track record. Uh, it's a world track record for midweight racers. <coughs> it's a midweight midweight racers. Uh, they got 1907. Uh, 19, 1907. Um, so Frank, um, he set uh, the world uh, 24 hour, so 24 hour uh, track endurance record. So track endurance record uh, traveling 1135 miles. So 1135 miles uh, driving a a six cylinder, so six cylinder V and then six was a uh, Ford model Ford model K. <coughs> Sorry. Ford model K. Then uh, 1909. So 1909. Um, <coughs> a Ford, a f so a Ford, Ford model T. So model T. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so Ford mod Ford model so Ford Model T. So model Model T uh, won the transcontinental uh, New York to Seattle. So New York to Se New York to Seattle. So New York to Seattle uh, cross country race. <coughs> About thirty thirty six hundred kilometers. I'd say that's like less than 2,000 miles, I think, I believe, or maybe 1,500 or 1,700 or 16, 1,700 miles, roughly around there somewhere. I don't really know, but I ain't got a clue to be honest. I, I, I believe, I'd say way less than 2,000 miles, roughly around there somewhere. I'm not sure. If I said it wrong, let me know in the comments of what it is for real, because I, I ain't got a clue in the world like what it is. So about like what what is like thirty six hundred kilometers in miles? Let me know in the comments. Um, of what you guys think it is. <coughs> so, or actually, or I might uh find out what it is. I don't know. But I'll find out. So uh, nineteen oh nine. So nineteen oh nine. Um, a Ford model a Ford Model T. Model Model T one, the transcontinental transcontinental <coughs> transcontinental New York New York to Seattle uh, cross country race about thirty six hundred kilometers in nineteen in nineteen thirty two, so in nineteen thirty two, <coughs> Ford introduced a Ford introduced its V eight flathead engine, bringing v8 power so v8 power into mass production say mass production <coughs> with the slogan every man's power for the road and every man's power for racing so every man's power for racing so for racing <coughs> at the same year two car mechanics uh won so they won the swedish winner so so swedish winner uh, Grand Prix, driving a Ford Special. <coughs> it's a Ford Ford Special. It's a Ford Special. Pretty cool. And in nineteen in nineteen thirty in nineteen thirty six. It's like nineteen thirty six. <coughs> I don't know uh, Zam Fireskew, and P G. So P G. Uh, uh, Christea <coughs> or Petre uh, G. Christea from uh, the capital of Bucharest in uh, Romania. So, Romania. So, considered uh, by many to be Romania, Romania's best racing, best racing driver. Best racing driver. Um, and even the winner 
like the 1930, 1936 uh, Monte Carlo Grand, not Grand, but sorry, Monte Carlo Grand. <clears throat> Somewhere in France, I believe. I'm not 100 sure. I think it was. I, I ain't got a clue. So in 1936, um, I don't know Zem Fire School. So both I know Zem Fire School and PG Cook. And PG PG Cristea won the Monte Carlo Rally, driving a Ford V8 flathead. So flathead uh, Ford V8, pretty pretty cool. And then in 1949, so 1949, it's almost in like the late 40s, almost at the start of the very early 50s. So almost at the 1950s around. So 1949, um, so 1949, uh, Jim Ropper, who was um, a NASCAR driver, so NASCAR driver, born August, born in, <coughs> so born August 13th, uh, 1916, um, uh, in Halstead, uh, Kansas, um, passed away, so died June, th June 23rd, 2000 age 83 in uh, Newton in uh, Kansas cause of death was heart and liver failure which was caused by cancer and achievements were the he was the winner of the first NASCAR or the first uh, first NASCAR race <coughs> so in 1949 um, Jim Ropper, so Jim Ropper, um, driving a, driving a Lincoln, so Lincoln, it's not a Lincoln Continental, but I don't know which one, uh, won the very first, so won the first, first NASCAR race, so that's pretty cool, that's, a, that's an achievement. So in 1949, uh, Jim Ropper, driving a Lincoln, don't know which one, won the first NASCAR race. So that's pretty cool. Then we're, gonna, then we're moving on to the early 50s. So, <clears throat> so around 1950, so in 1950, Jimmy Florian, uh, born September, September 25th, um, <clears throat> uh, 1923, uh, passed away February 14th. So on Valentine's Day, uh, 1999, uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. So cause of death was cancer at age 75. Damn. So may rest, may rest in peace. So in 1950, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Florian, uh, driving a uh, Ford, uh, wins the first like the, like the first NASCAR race in a Ford branded car at Dayton, Ohio. <coughs> so that was in nineteen fifty. And then we got nineteen sixty three.
1970. Uh, Jimmy Florian. So Jimmy Florian. Drag of Ford. Makes the first. Drag of Ford. Makes the first NASCAR race. The NASCAR race. And the Ford branded car. At Daytona, Ohio. Then we got 1963. Uh, Tiny Lind. Or, so his actual name is. Dwayne Louise Tiny. So that's his middle name. Uh, Lund. Born November four. November 14th. November 14th, uh, 19, 1929, so 19, 1929, from Holland, so from Holland, so at, at the city and the county seat of Shelby County, along with the west, west, West Nishnabotna River in in Iowa, in Iowa, so in Harlan. So born November four, November fourteenth, uh, nineteen twenty nine, from Harlan, Iowa. Died August seventeenth, nineteen August seventeenth. So August seventeenth, nineteen seventy five. Age forty five from Lincoln. <coughs> So in Lincoln, uh, it's Talladega County in Alabama. Cause of death was racing accident in a Talladega Speedway, which was a trioval speedway in Lincoln, Alabama. So it's basically a racetrack. So formerly named Alabama. So his actual name was Talladega Speedway, not Talladega Super Speedway, but it was formerly named. Alabama International Motor Speedway. So Alabama International Motor Speedway from 1969 to 1989. So a 2.6 mile uh, trial, so trial super speedway in Lincoln, Alabama. <coughs> it was also served by Interstate 20 or the I-20. Travels 214. So less than 215 miles through the center of the state of uh, Alabama. So, so in 1963, so 1963, uh, Tiny Lund, uh, who was uh, known as Dwayne Louise Tiny Lund <coughs> wins the first Daytona Daytona 500. Usually, you know, I've heard of Indy 500, like Indianapolis 500. So Indianapolis 500, but now it's like Daytona 500 uh, for Ford. So for Ford, so 1963 and in 1965. <coughs> so 1965, um, Jim Clark. Um, gives Ford its first of six Indy, six Indy wins between the years 1965 and 71. So 1971. So between the years 65 and 71. Uh, next up, 1967. <coughs> so 1967. Jim Clark, um, born March 4th, March 14th. So March 14th. March 4th, later, sorry, 1936, died April 7th, 1968, which he died in uh, Hockenheim at uh, Baden-Württemberg uh, in West Germany, so at the Hockenheim Raceway in West Germany, so he died uh, from a broken neck of his. Not only that, he even suffered a skull fracture, so a fractured skull. So he had a broken neck and a, a fractured skull. So he was, he, that, he died just before he was, he even died before he reached the hospital. Yeah, amazing. 
Hmm. Like Jim Clark, Jim Clark is a really minimal guest, and there was even a story about that in uh, the Grand Tours, explained by Richard Hammond. Like I have, I got some. There's been a lot of great drivers, but I think the best one so far is definitely Jim Clark. Respect. Respect to Jim Clark. He moved on, but he will never be forgotten. He will always be remembered with a legacy, either a red power force or a racing role. May God bless the man. May God, may God be by his side in heaven. God will guide you. And God will be willing to help you all out. And God will be willing to help you out, Jim Clark. Sad that he's gone. So we got, so we, uh, 1967. Uh, Jim Clark driving the Lotus Ford. So, uh, so Lotus Ford. <coughs> so Lotus Ford. Uh, he drove a Lotus 25, I think it was. It was like one of those, uh, old school, uh, uh race cars in, uh, in the Formula 3, I think it was, I'm not 100% sure, but it was, uh, it was like those open wheeler, uh, racers. It looked kind of like those open wheeler, uh, F1 cars, almost. Something like that, I don't know. <coughs> so in 1967, so in 67, Jim Clark, so Jim Clark, driving the Lotus Ford, uh, won the Dutch Grand Prix. So this was Ford's, Ford's first Grand Prix victory. Uh, I believe that was 1968. Um, I want to say 68 because it was the wrong year. So at Graham Hill, um, whose name was, or his full name was Norman Graham Hill. Uh, he was a, born February 15th. Um, February 15th, 1929. Died November 20. Died so died November 29th. 1975. And he died from a light aircraft um, accident. So it was a Piper PA-23 Aztec named uh, Apache, it was like an Apache helicopter, so it was a twin engine light aircraft which crashed, which crashed near the village of Arkley in Greater London, in England within the, within the London borough of Barnet, located at less than 11 miles, six, so less than 11 miles, 17 kilometers north, northwest of Charing Cross, uh, which is a junction in uh, Westminster. So in the London borough of Barnet, while on a while on a night approach to Elstree Airfield in a thick fog. So it's located in Elstree, which is a two point six. So technically we'll end up like three miles east of uh, Watford in uh, Hertfordshire in London. <coughs> so we got nine. So we got so we got nineteen sixty eight. Um, so nineteen sixty eight. So in sixty eight, Graham Hill. So Graham Hill, driving a Lotus um, Ford, won both the drivers and constructors. Uh, well, so drivers and constructors. World Championship, World Championship. This was Ford's Ford's first of both respective championship wins. And then we got in 1976, uh, so in like the mid late 60s, not 60s, sorry, mid late 70s. There we go. Sorry, I haven't been doing this for a long time. I'll be honest. So it was 1968, and um, 1976, um. 
1976 uh, Ford, Ford uh, via Cosworth, ran its first Indy 500, and would dominate Indy with the uh, Cosworth, <coughs> Cosworth uh, BFX, and over the next 10 years, so over the next 10 years, so 10 years by winning every race, every race plus two more races with the XD version uh, for the for a 12 and the win uh, total between the years uh, 1978 so 1978 and 1996 so in those times in that point of time that was around uh, so it's like an 18 year difference there and so now an 18 year difference from 1978 to 1996. So from 1978 to 1996, the Ford Cosworth um, DFX powered 80, so 81 uh, consecutive IndyCar victories from the years, so, the, so from the years 1981 to 1986, so there's a five year difference there, and a total of 150, 153, over 150, or 153 uh, victories in total, that's pretty good, <coughs> one, all, all USAC and CART, or C-A-R-T, championships between the years 1977 and 1987, so the 10-year difference. And then we got 1994. So next up, 1994, uh, Michael Schumacher bags his first uh, driver's uh, world championship with a fourth powered um, Benetton B194 uh, race car. And I believe this was either before or after his uh, skiing accident back in December 29th, uh, 2013. So the month before. A month, or almost a month after Paul Walker died. I think he was skiing with his 14 year old son, Mick uh, Schumacher. So, Mick Schumacher. And then, uh, and then Michael just fell and hit his head on a rock. Sustaining a serious head injury despite wearing a ski helmet, and he was airlifted by airlifted to the uh, Grenoble Hospital, where he underwent two surgical um, interventions and was put into a medically induced coma because of the he was put in a medically induced coma because of the traumatic brain injury. And around like let's see a year later, so like March twenty fourteen, there was small encouraging uh, signs. And a month later in uh, twenty fourteen, he was showing moments of consciousness and he was gradually was gradually withdrawn from the medically induced coma and he was <coughs> and then he left Grenoble Hospital in June twenty fourteen for further rehab. Rehabilitation at the Las Nin University Hospital in Switzerland. Then in September of same year, 2014, so three months later, he left the hospital and was brought back home for further rehab rehabilitation. And then in May 2015, Schumacher's manager, Sabine Kim, stated that his condition was slowly improving considering the severeness of the injury he once had. And 
We got 2003. So 2003, the same year Too Fast to Fear came out. Uh, Giancarlo Fisichella. So Giancarlo Fisichella, <coughs> who is an uh, who is an Italian pro race car driver, and also captain of the um, official Nazionale, official national. Adding E at the very end and adding a Z between the A and the I. Kind of weird. Uh, Piloti, so I'm saying the word pilot. So pilot, but it's not saying the word pilot, but just adding the letter I at the end. Uh, association football team composed of the racing drivers, of the F1 racing drivers. And they're driven in F1 for uh, Minardi, Jordan, uh, Benetton. Uh, Sabre, um, Force India, and Ferrari. So, yeah, Ferrari. <coughs> so, in 2003, uh, Giancarlo Fisichella, driving a Jordan Ford, uh, won, so Jordan, Jordan Ford won the Brazilian Grand Prix. So, Brazilian Grand Prix, uh, this was Ford's 176th. Um, and last, so, f uh, so 176 and final Grand Prix victory. So that was 2003. Now, uh, now we're going to the modern times. So 2011. So in 2011, uh, Trevor Bain, who is an American pro stock car uh, racing driver, dirt racing driver, team owner, and businessman, born February 19th. Uh, 1991 from Knoxville, Tennessee. So Knoxville, Tennessee, which is a city uh, and the county seat of Knox County, uh, Tennessee in the U.S. <coughs> so in Tennessee, so in 2011, uh, Trevor Trevor Bain, <coughs> Trevor. Uh, Trevor, Trevor Bain, so Trevor Bain, uh, wins the Daytona 500 in a 1-2-3, so 1-2-3, uh, finish for Ford, like they did with the GT40 at the 24 hours of Le Mans. Pretty cool. And it was, it was Ford's, <coughs> it's Ford's, Ford's 600th. NASCAR victory. They got left out. They got the year 2012. So 2000, 2012. Got Michael Shank Racing, uh, who won the 50th uh, Rolex 
in 2014 at Daytona, sorry, Daytona, with a Ford engined uh, rally chassis, uh, Starworks, Starworks, um, uh, Motors, Starworks Motorsport uh, finishes finishes second, second place in the at the <coughs> Grand Am. Um, I think it was Trans Am, but taking out Trans and putting Grand into it. So Grand Am Daytona Daytona prototype uh, driver standings. Uh, Ryan uh, Dalziel and runs the and runs the first North American North American Endurance Championship, also with Ford Power. It's like the it's like the power of Ford. Pretty good. <coughs> My favorite year of all time, 2013. Uh, but I moved on to that. So I'm, I'm moving on from that. So 2013, uh, Greg uh, Biffle, I can't pronounce his last name correctly. It's spelled, <coughs> it's, like saying the word, it's like saying the word Biff. So B I F F, but adding, adding uh, the two letters L and E at the end. <clears throat> Born December 23rd, uh, 1969, from Vancouver in uh, Washington. So he's also Vancouver in, uh, so not to be confused with Vancouver in British Columbia, Canada. It's like in Canada. But he's also in Vancouver in Washington, <clears throat> which is a city on the north bank of the Columbia, Columbia River, located in uh, Clark County. In the U.S. state of Washington, it's in Clark County, Washington. So in 2013, so in 2013, uh, Greg Biffle, so Greg Biffle, <coughs> wins the Quicken Loans, so the Quicken Loans 400. Uh, which is a Nas which is a NASCAR Sprint Cup Series stock car race held on June sixteenth, uh, twenty thirteen, at the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan, U.S. <coughs> Consisting over two hundred laps on a two mile super speedway, it's the fifteenth race of the twenty thirteen uh, Sprint Cup Series uh, championship. <coughs> So a two mile super speedway is the fifteenth race of the twenty thirteen Sprint Cup Series uh, Championship. So twenty thirteen so twenty thirteen Sprint Cup Series uh, Championship. <coughs> so so yeah, twenty thirteen Greg Biffle wins the Quicken wins the Quicken wins the Quicken Loans, so Quicken Loans 400, which was Ford's 1,000th NASCAR win. Pretty good. Next up is 2014. So in 2014, so in 2014, so 2014, DBs of the Ford, Ford EcoBoost, uh, twin turbo motor or just twin turbo twin turbo uh, engine so engine for the for the Tudor uh united so Tudor united uh, sports car uh championship <coughs> uh chip ganazi racing with felix uh sabates uh, wins the mobile one so mob uh, mobile, it's like saying the word mobile for like phones, but taking out the letter e, you're left with mobile. So win the mobile one, uh, 
12 hours of Sebring uh, using the engine. So I was in the was in a Sebring International Raceway. <coughs> Located near uh, Sebring in uh, Florida. So Florida. <coughs> which was nicknamed the city. So the city. <coughs> excuse me. The, sea, the city on the circle. So it's the city on the circle. So in 2014, um, debut of the of the 4D Go Boost uh, twin turbo engine. So 4D Go Boost twin turbo engine for the Tudor uh, Tudor, Tudor uh, United uh, Sports Car Championship. <coughs> so championship, Chip Ganazi Racing with with Felix Sabates wins the mobile. Mobile one, uh, twelve hours of Sebring. So twelve hours, twelve hours of Sebring, uh, use, uh, using the using the engine. So engine. <coughs> so using the engine, and then in twenty in twenty fifteen. So twenty fifteen. So twenty twenty fifteen. So twenty fifteen. <coughs> Can't talk about. So twenty twenty fifteen. Um. So in 2015, Ford Racing alongside Ford Team, Ford Team uh, RS. So Ford, Ford Team RS and SVT, uh, Special uh, Vehicle Team, uh, merged into so both Ford Ford Team Racing. Not racing, sorry. Ford Team RS. So Ford Team RS and Special Vehicle Team. Or just SVT. So Ford Team RS and um, <coughs> SVT merged into a global entity nicknamed Ford Performance, uh, as they also um, as, they, as they'll also make twelve performance cars by twenty twenty. So that was, that was four years ago. Uh, wins Rolex uh, twelve hour. They won uh, overall. The um, Rolex twenty four hours, twenty twenty four hours of Daytona. So they won the Rolex. So they won. So they overall won the Rolex. Rolex twenty four hours of Daytona. Twenty Rolex twenty four hours. Twenty four hours of Daytona. So twenty twenty four hours of Daytona, with Chip Ganassi racing. Uh, also with uh, Felix uh, Sabates. With also Canon, Nick Murray, Larson, and Dixon using Ford EcoBoost on Riley uh, DP. <coughs> Not sure what it means, but well, then in 2016, so 2016, so 2016, um, Ford entered four uh, Ford GTs, uh, so Ford GT cars in the 2016, uh, 24 hours of Le Mans. Uh, GTE Pro Class finished 1, 3, 4, 10. So finished 1st, 3rd, so 1st, 3rd, so 1st, 3rd, 4th, and 10th place. <clears throat> Alright, ne next up we got is, uh, uh, so we're on 2016, so I thought I'd get it for Four GT cars in uh, 2016, uh, 24 hours of Le Mans, GT Pro Class finished one, two, finished one, three, four, ten. So, uh, so we're on the right track. So next up, we, next up we got is uh, 2018. So 2018. So 2018. So uh, very late 2010s. So 20, 2018. Um, Joey Logano, uh, aka Joseph uh, Thomas. Joseph Thomas Logano is an, is an American pro stock car uh, racing driver, born May twenty May twenty fourth, uh, nineteen ninety, age thirty four, in Middle Middletown, which is a city. 
in uh, Connecticut. It's in Middletown, Connecticut. <coughs> Might visit Connecticut one day. I don't know, but I'm willing to find out. I'm willing, willing to find out. <coughs> Sorry about that. Feeling a bit sick. <coughs> hopefully, I'll uh, hopefully I'll be okay by the time I end this video because I'm starting to feel a little bit sick. I'm feeling a little bit sick right now. I don't know why, but but um, hopefully I'll get better soon. I promise. Yeah, uh, you know, so in 2018, so 2018, I Joey Logano. So Joey Lo Joey Logano. So Joey uh, Logano <coughs> or Logano. It's like saying the word Logan, but adding the letter O to the end of the name. Uh, wins at uh, Homestead Miami Speedway, uh, located in Homestead, uh, Florida. So Homestead, Florida. Someday I'll visit Miami one day, as well. I don't know. There's so many places I want to visit in the U.S. I don't know. Even Canada, but I'll decide where I want to go. Okay, so in 2018, <coughs> Joey Logano. So Joey Logano. Sorry, Joey Logano, or Logano, whatever, wins at Homestead uh, Miami, Homestead Miami Speedway, <coughs> Homestead Miami Speedway, so Homestead Miami, Homestead Miami Speedway, uh, which is a race motor uh, racetrack located in uh, located in uh, home located in Homestead, Homestead, Florida. <coughs> so Joey Logano. Wins at Homestead Miami Speedway, located in uh, Homestead, Florida, uh, and and wins Ford, wins Ford Performance. Its first NASCAR Cup, so NASCAR, NASCAR, the first NASCAR Cup uh, championship since 2004, and uh, first manufacturers, manufacturers um, championship, so manufacturers championship since 2000 since uh 2002 <coughs> all right next up 2023 so that was last year ford announced uh the return their return as a uh, f1 engine so formula one manufacturer for 2026 so that's the uh, next year <coughs> after nearly 20 years of absence in formula one that was in 2006, I believe? Somewhere around there. So after nearly 20 years of, 20 years of absence, of absence in Formula 1, or F1. I will partner with Red Bull, um, Red, Red Bull Powertrains, abbreviated as RBPT. Say Red Bull Powertrains. Red Red Bull uh, Red, Red Bull Red Bull Powertrains as Red Bull Ford Powertrains uh, Red Bull Ford Powertrains will supply the Red Bull Ford Powertrains will supply engines to Red Bull race to um, Red Red Bull Racing. <coughs> Say Red Red Bull Racing uh, and RB uh, Formula One or F One team. Then we got the last one twenty twenty four. Then we got cars or vehicles. But before I do that, I'm just gonna charge this real quick. I'll be back. Okay, 
let's go. Going green, green, green. Forty ounce third tier magazine rifle and MG manufacturer. So rifle and MG manufacturer. Twenty twenty six after moving from the US. The Rapsons and the F1 and the partner with the Red Bull powertrains, those Red Bull Ford powertrains, the Red Bull Ford powertrains will supply engines to Red Bull Racing and the um, RB F1 team. <coughs> it's a runway track, so the last part is 2024 this year, say 2024, and then we're moving on to vehicles because there's quite a bunch of vehicles for this. The factory drivers, um, Wins, Ford performance teams, and uh, that'll uh, wrap it up. <coughs> and okay, so okay, last part, twenty twenty four. Here we go. <coughs> so as part of as part of their partnership. So as as part of their partnership, so a partnership with um, Red Bull, a uh, drinking company, a drinking company, and the company's um, promoter uh, STEM. So science, technology, engine, and mathematics, or maths, and DEI, diversity, equality, and inclusion. <coughs> so DE, DEI, so DEI. Diversity, diversity, so diversity, equity, so diversity, equity, and inclusion, so in inclusion, integrates to further attract, this is kind of a weird one, but it is true, further attract more women, so more women, to the sport across all levels and roles, so all levels and roles, <coughs> which is true with what they're doing so ford signed signed a um title partnership so a title title partnership <coughs> title partnership uh deal with uh red bull to form to form the red bull the red the red bull ford so red bull ford uh, academy program in support of of uh Emily De Hughes. I can't pronounce it well. It's like saying the word Emily, like the name, but taking out the I and replacing it with an E. So taking out the I and replacing it with the E between the M and the L. And De Hughes, Hughes? I can't pronounce that, but it spells H E U S. So H E U S. So H E U S. <coughs> Born February 10th, 2003 age 21, who is a Dutch racing driver who competes in the F1 Academy, so F1, so F1 Formula, One, Formula 1 Academy for MP Motorsports. It's an MP Motorsport. <coughs> MP, so MP Motorsports. It's an MP Motorsports. <coughs> Ford signed a Ford signed a title uh, partnership deal, so partnership deal uh, with Red Bull to form Red Bull to form the Red Bull Ford Ford Red Bull Ford uh, Red Bull Ford so Red Bull Ford Academy program in support of Emily De Hughes uh, for the 2024 for this year's F1 Academy season. <coughs> All right, next up we got is vehicles. So it's quite a, not that much on it, but we'll do it. So vehicles. So this list only, only includes uh, vehicles produced, uh, post, produced post 20, post 2016. So 2016, um, after the merger of both Ford Team RS so Ford Team RS and SVT, special special vehicle special vehicle team. <coughs> so currently sold were uh, 
a bunch of ports so we got the edge st so the edge st is like the type of off-road uh, ford the explorer um the ex explorer explorer um st i think it was a sixth gen ford explorer i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it was probably <clears throat> so probably yeah all right so um so we got the Edge ST, Explorer ST, <coughs> the um, F-150 Raptor, if I had to choose a Raptor, I'd take the first gen uh, SVT Raptor from uh, 2010, because I love that truck, so 2011, 2012, pretty good. Either a 5.4 liter modular modular three valve V8 or a 6.2 liter bus the bus V8. Out of those two, I picked a 6.2 liter V8. <coughs> Pretty good between uh, 385 to 500 horsepower, so like 405 to well, like 550 I'd say to like 650 newton meters, 405 to like almost 480 pound feet of torque. Is pretty damn good. So I currently sold from Ford the <coughs> Edge ST. So Edge F Edge ST. So the Ed so the Edge ST. Uh, Explorer ST, F-150 Raptor, so F-150, F-150 Raptor, Focus ST, GT, Bronc, Bronco, Bronco Raptor, so Bronco Raptor, and Ranger Raptor. Now, previously sold were the uh, Fiesta ST, so Fiesta ST, so Fiesta ST, Focus RS, Mustang Shelby, uh, GT350, so GT350, and GT350R. <clears throat> so yeah, Mustang Shelby, uh, GT350, and then GT350R, so GT, GT350R. Uh, then we got the Mustang Shelby GT, Shelby, uh, GT500, so the Shelby GT500, and the Mustang Mach 1, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Oops. So yeah, we got previously sold with the Fiesta ST, Focus, so Fiesta ST, Focus RS, <coughs> so Fiesta ST, Focus RS, Mustang, Mustang Shelby, GT350, and GT350R, Mustang Shelby, GT500, and Mustang Mach 1, <coughs> so, Mach, so Mustang Mach 1, so Mach 1, uh, so that was not that long, so pretty short, so next up we got is the factory, so factory drivers. So these are the current drivers. Uh, there is. So we got like it's less than ten drivers. So like nine, like nine drivers. I think. So yeah, less than ten. <coughs> so we got British uh, race car driver. So for the factory drivers, uh, current, uh, we got Ben Parker, well, Ben Barker, Barker, oh, sorry, why did I say Parker? My God, sorry, sorry, I apologize. So we got Ben Barker from the UK, <coughs> from the US, we got Joey, 
Joey Hand from Sacramento, California. I might visit Sacra I might visit Sacramento one day. You never know. <clears throat> and Ben Barker was from uh, Cambridge. Actually, from the UK. So we got Ben Barker. Uh, so Ben Barker, Joey Hand, Christopher Mize. <clears throat> so M I so M I E S. So we got Ben Barker. Joey Hand, Christopher Mize, Dirk Mueller. So Dirk Mueller, Dennis uh, Olson, or Olson. So we got Ben Barker from the UK, <coughs> Joey Hand from the US, both Christopher Mize and uh, Dirk Mueller from Germany. So we got Dennis Olsen from Norway, uh, Andy, Andy, Andy Prio or Prio, I can't pronounce it well, but it's spelled uh, P R I A U L X from the UK, from Guernsey. So we got Ben Barker, Ben Barker, Joey, so Ben Barker, Joey Hand, so Joey Hand, Joey Hand, uh, Christopher Mize, uh, Dirk Mueller, uh, uh, Dennis Olson, Andy Prio, Prio X, I can't pronounce it well, so, so Andy Prio, I can't pronounce it. But it's spelled P R I A U L X. So from the UK, so his last name is spelled P R I A U. So P, his last name is spelled P R I A U L X. Then we got, then we got Mike Rockenfeller from Germany. Uh, we got Harry. Uh, Tank No, can't pronounce it well. So his last name is last name is spelled T I N. So T I N C K. So T I N. So T I N. Uh, C K. N E L L. From the U K, and then from Belgium. We got. Uh, Frederick Vervish. So Frederick Vervish. Uh, Frederick is spelled F R E with a dash on the top or a comma, whatever. D E with another dash, R I C. And then Vervish. So Vervish is spelled V. So it's spelled V E, so V E R V, so V E R uh, V I S C H from Belgium. So Belgium. <coughs> Next up is Wins. So not much on it for Wins, but let's do it. <coughs> uh, for the series, we got uh, three wins. So we got F one, so Formula One. NASCAR and V8 Supercar. So V8 Supercar. So V8 Supercar. So this includes the race wins, uh, manufacturers titles, and drivers titles. So starting off, first one is F1. It won. So for Formula One, it won a hundred and it won, it won a hundred and seventy six um, wins. It had ten manufa ten manufacturers titles. So ten manu ten manufacturer titles. So ten manufacturer titles. <coughs> so ten manufacturer ten many so ten 
10 manufacturer's titles. So 10, 10 manufacturer's titles and 13 driver's titles. <clears throat> and then for NASCAR, we got... So NASCAR, we got 700... So 700... 7... So for, so for NASCAR... So, 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 so for NASCAR... We, we got 700... So 700... 700 and... So 728... Um, race wins... 17 manufacturer titles... And 11 driver titles... <clears throat> and for V8 Supercar... So V8... V8 Supercar... And V8 Supercar, V8 Supercar, they had, they won 415 uh, races. Uh, they had six manufacturer titles, so six manufacturer titles, and 26 driver titles. It's not much, I know, I know. And um, next up, we got is. Ford performance teams. So, so Ford performance teams. <clears throat> so for Formula One, or for F1, next year we'll have Red Bull Racing. So Red Bull, Red Red Bull Racing, and Visa. <clears throat> and Visa, Visa. Uh, cash app RB so the Visa cash app RB which is known as the RBF1 team so shorten so shortened for Red Bull Formula 1 team Or V Comp as we call it, which is the which is Visa Cash App RB F1 team. <clears throat> so for Formula One, so for F1 next year they're gonna have or the year after actually. So for F1 in uh, two years in 2026, they're gonna have Red Bull Racing and uh, Visa Cash App RB. So for so that was for Formula One. So that was for Formula One. Um, for NASCAR, however, for NASCAR we got the Cup, Xfinity, and the uh, Truck Series. So first off, for NASCAR we got the Cup Series. Um, <clears throat> they have Team Team Penske from 1994 to 1994 uh, to 1994 to, to 2002, and then 2013 to present to present or future. Team Penske, <coughs> we have 2013 in one word, so Team Penske in, in RFK Racing, so we got RFK Racing, so RFK Racing, which is Roush, which is known as Roush Fenway uh, Keselowski Racing. Uh, so RFK RFK Racing from uh, 1988. So 1988 uh, to present or future, <coughs> whichever way looks nice. So 1988 and onwards. They got front row, so front row motorsports. So that's front row motorsports. That's pretty cool. Cool name. Front row motorsports. That's cool. <coughs> so front front row motorsports. Uh 20, 2010 and onwards. So 2010, 2010 and onwards. And then we got Stuart 
Haas. Stuart Haas Racing. Can't pronounce the name well, but it's spelled H A. So H A A S Racing. So Stuart Haas Racing 2017 and onward. <coughs> then we got Rick Ware. So Rick Ware Racing. So Rick Ware Racing. So Rick Ware. Rick Ware Racing. So Rick Ware Racing uh, 2022 and onward. And then we got Wood, Wood Brothers uh, Racing. So Wood Brothers. Wood Brothers Racing. Uh, 1950 and onwards. Uh, next up we got is the Xfinity, Xfinity series. We got RSS Racing. <coughs> Sorry. RSS Racing. So we had a Xfinity Nick Paul. Oh, we're on track. So uh, next up we got is Xfinity. So Xfinity, Xfinity series. So for twenty twenty, for twenty twenty one, so twenty twenty one. 2021, so 2021 and onward, we got R RSS Racing, so RSS Racing, so we got RSS Racing, so 2017 and onward, we got Stuart Haas Racing, and then for 2023, so 2023 and onward, we got AM Racing, <coughs> AM Racing, and then for the Truck Series, we got so the truck series. So the truck series. Truck series. We got <coughs> uh, Thor Sport uh, Racing from twenty eighteen to twenty twenty, and then twenty twenty three and onwards. Then we got. Front Row Motorsports, so front, so front Row Motorsports, so Front Row Motorsports, so Front Row Motorsports 2020 and onward, then we got Ryum Brothers Racing, uh, 2023 and onward, it's like saying Resume, but taking out the S, and replacing it with an A, between the E and the U, kind of weird. So we got Liam Brothers for uh, Front Row Front Row Motorsports uh, 2020 and onwards. And then we got Liam Brothers Liam Brothers Racing. So Racing uh, 2023. So 2023 and onwards. <coughs> so next up we got is the Australia Australia Supercars Championship. First one we got is Blanchard, Blanchard, uh, racing team, so racing team, <coughs> Blanchard racing team, uh, 2021 and onward, then we got Grove Racing, 2020 and onward, so Grove Racing, 2020 and onward, uh, Tickle Ford, <coughs> Tickle Ford Racing, uh, 2003 and onward, and then Walkinshaw, Walkinshaw, Walkinshaw Andretti, so Walkinshaw Andretti, so Walkinshaw Andretti, so, so Andretti, United uh, 2023, and onward. Then we got, next up we got is the World Endurance, <coughs> Endurance uh, Championship, so Championship, we got only one that's just the only one that got is Pro Time competition. 
for 2024 and onward. And next up we got his past teams. So World Endurance, Endurance Championships, <coughs> so Prototype Competition, the Competition 2024. Next up we got is past teams, so the previous teams before the, the newest versions, so past teams <coughs> before. So we got Matek GT, Matek GT Racing, so Matek, Mat Matek GT So we got Matic GT, Matic GT Racing, so Matic GT Racing, so Matic GT Racing, uh, SunTrust Racing, uh, Ford World Rally Team, so Ford World Rally Team, so World Rally Team, uh, Munchies Ford World Rally Team, uh, Richard Petty Motors, Richard uh, Petty Motorsports. Uh, Jordan Grand Prix, so Jordan Grand Prix, <coughs> Jordan Grand Prix, uh, Stewart, Stewart Grand Prix, so Stewart Grand Prix, uh, Jaguar Racing, Benetton Formula, Sabre F1 Team, so Sabre F1 Team, Minardi F1 Team, Team Aeon, Mark VDS Racing Team, uh, Belgium Racing, uh, Fischer, or, or Fischer, I can't pronounce that well, that's from F-I-S-C-H-E-R, Racing, F-W-R-T, so F-W-R-T, F-W-R-T, Hoonigan Racing, uh, Division, so Division, uh, which was, uh, team principal was, uh, Ken Block, Marist in peace. When I, like when I first heard that he died, I was like in total shock. Like I was like, "What? No, 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 no! This can't be happening." First, we lost Paul Walker. Well, before that, we lost. So first, we lost Jim Clark, then Edson Senna, Paul Walker. And now we've lost Cam Block. <sighs> I really don't know what to say. Like great drivers are just like gone too soon. Like way too soon. <sighs> I don't know what to say. So we got F W F W R T uh, Hoonigan Racing Division, so, Hoonigan Racing Division, uh, so, Hoonigan Racing Division, Chip Ganazi Race, so, Chip Ganazi Racing, <coughs> uh, Spurks MSE, so, MSE, and, S so, MSE, and, so, MSE, and SS Greenlight, Greenlight Racing, <coughs> Uh, for more topics, they, uh, you can see also they got a uh, Ford Performance, Ford Performance, Performance uh, Vehicles, so Vehicles, Vehicles, um, SVT, so Special uh, Vehicle, Special Vehicle, Special Vehicle Team, so, SV, so SVT, <coughs> North, North America, North America, so North America's um, performance, performance, so performance car division, so performance car division, uh, they got Ford, uh, Team RS, Team RS, <coughs> uh, Europe, so Ford, Team RS, so Team RS, European performance car uh, divisions, 
Ford's uh, ST and RS. <clears throat> so ST and RS, and we got they got um, FBV. So FBV, Ford Performance, Ford Performance Vehicles. So FPV, Ford Performance Vehicles from Australia's. So uh, Australia's uh, performance performance car performance performance car division they got <coughs> ford svo so svo stands for special vehicle um special vehicle vehicle operations say so operations so ford svo or special vehicle or ford ford special vehicle um operations they got cosworth uh former long uh, standing, standing, uh, performance engine, uh, development department, so development, so development, uh, partner, sorry, sorry if I screwed up, but no worries, I corrected myself, so development partner, and then we got rash performance, So we got Ford Special um, Special Vehicle Special Vehicle Operations. So Ford Special Vehicle Operations. So Ford SVO or Special Vehicle Operations. Uh, Cosworth, a uh, former long-standing long-standing um, performance engine development engine development engine development. So engine development partner. So engine development partner. So engine development partner. <sighs> so Cosworth. So Cosworth Cosworth. Former long long standing standing performance. Uh, engine development partner and then we got rash perform rash performance so rash performance and m sport not to be confused with bmw's m sport but this one is completely different this is for ford entering the wrc world rally championships so rash performance and so rash perf rash perf so rash performance and m sport <coughs> all right and that is it guys so um that was pretty cool okay so um so if you guys like this uh video so if you guys like this video with a very with this uh special with that special sponsor well not really sponsor but high performance division uh, for both its motorsport and uh racing so motorsport and racing activity if you guys like this video, um, if you find it informative or special or entertaining or anything like that, uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe. I said, like the video, subscribe. <coughs> uh, comment down below uh, what you guys think. Uh, hit the notif hit the uh, notification notification bell and hit and hit all so you're alerted when I make brand new uploads. All right. Oh, now one more thing before I end it there. I'm also gonna put down. I'm gonna put down in the comments the website of the of the Ford. Uh, web, I'll put down the website of where you guys wanna check out for Ford Performance. So I'll put the link in the description below. So the website you go to is performance.ford.com. So you can check out all the details there, of like what's going on for different events, motorsport enthusiasts, parts, collector vehicles, performance vehicles, heritage merchandise actual Ford website, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So I'll put the link in the description below. <coughs> Alright. So remember, if you guys like this, so remember, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell, and hit all of your, and hit all, so you're ready when I make brand new uploads. Alright. <coughs> so that'll be it. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. But until then, stay safe, have a great evening, and have a great morning, uh, tomorrow morning. <laughs> And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. <clears throat> so
So yeah, I gotta go. So Tinker Tinker Fox. So Tinker Fox, stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Good night.